What is going on everyone and welcome or welcome back to Path of Exile. So we are playing the Ritual League which started last month and uh, I never really like recorded it or anything. I was just kind of playing through it. But I figured every league I'd like to make at least one video. Um, so yeah, so in the beginning our build is not even close to done, but we are playing a cremation necromancer and the fact that I made it past 90 was actually pretty shocking because this build is like it's good, but it's not like top DPS or anything like some of my other builds from previous leagues. But anyway, um, so we are at the point of red maps and I haven't really gotten too far into it just like I could do T16s and Shaper, like, I'm getting close to Elder, um, so we're just going to doing that. So we can show you how it works and all that stuff, but, uh, let's see. What are we doing? I guess I'll just show you some maps. It's kind of, like, right now it's kind of squishy. So the way it works is you desecrate, summon some adds underground, then you cause the cremation, and then there's just, like, fire projectiles everywhere. Uh, your damage for bossing is sniper's mark. You put the sniper's mark on the uh, boss or target. They just take so much more damage from projectile hits, which is what a cremation actually does. And then uh, defensive layers. And then obviously we have mind over matter, which does help. So this is what it is. So yeah, Ritual League so far, it's uh, it's alright. I like the whole 3.13 to Atlas thing with the Maven, that's pretty cool. So yeah, what could we do? I guess we'll just run some... I'll just run a map, why not? Do I have any? Oh, I don't even have it. That's kinda annoying actually, we just can't get hit by the boss. It does a charge, it does a lot of damage, and then... With even more damage, just can't get hit by it. Whatever, we'll do it. Uh, let's see. Do we have any... Let's bring... Oh, no, not that one. That. I haven't done, like, all the league previous leagues like the mastermind and that one it's not too difficult so basically this is how it works and if you don't know how ritual work you stand in the circle <coughs> and um, when the enemies come out it's just like waves of stuff then you save up your points it shows you some goodies. Usually I'd recommend doing all of them. Like it tells you how many out of like four. Then it, you uncover some items and uh, you buy goodies. Most of the time it's garbage. I think the best thing I've ever gotten was like a 10 chaos bundle. Whereas I've seen people on Reddit just like, oh, I got a headhunter just from a ritual easy. Nope, those are the carried people. The rest of us get garbage. I heard they're gonna buff the uh, ritual things. Like, right now, there are a few I can't find for a challenge. So, in terms of the played time, two days, 15 hours, that's actually a lot less than I thought it would be. <laughs> then again, a lot of that time is just me sitting on the trade site and trying to buy gear. Cool. So this isn't really the most fast build I've ever done, like, you kind of have to stop summon and all that stuff. But, I mean, the damage itself is alright. Not the greatest. That's probably just me being... ...bad. Hmm. 
Mm, can't do LE Reflect. I can't do Reflect in general. Can't do no regen. Guess we're doing Delirium. Dude, one day I actually want to learn how to do, uh, like, fully juiced maps according to, like, people where it's just, like, max item quantity, 100% deliriums. Apparently those are expensive to even do. Go and find a delirium. So this is how bossing is. Well, I guess this is a bad example, but basically you snipers mark the target. You'll see the green like thing at the top and then just drop cremations on it. I think this is just a bad example of the map because this boss is not dying quick. Oh, that explains a lot. Oh my god, that kind of hurt. Should probably find that delirium mirror like right now. <laughs> Dude, where is it? Yeah, this is this build is like good for mapping, not really. I mean, you could do bosses, it's just one to do bosses, just make a minor build. But yeah, well, this isn't really the best for deliriums either. I mean, it works, but if you want to go fast, not it. Huh, that one's not bad. Let's do this one and see what it reveals.
I've actually gotten pretty unlucky this league, just in terms of uh, drops. I've only gotten like one straight exalt drop. 93 levels. Arcanist box. Oh my god. I heard the uh, loot filter is kind of broken for semi-strict. This is sometimes what's wrong and what kills people in rituals. Like when the enemies have a stacked health bar, or not like stacked, but like aura stacked, that's not good. The boss should be here. Yeah, don't get hit by any of the. Temporal chains, what? I can't be bothered going back, we're done. I should just have a dump tab, but I'm lazy and I just have to manually Hello. sort them. See you soon. Uh, that's kind of scary beyond I should probably get the five slot thing and eventually Year 16 lighthouse. The boss is kind of scary. Like, it shotguns you and it kind of hurts. So, we're at 16 challenges so far. Some of them are actually, like, I don't know where to find them. When I'm ready, I'm not. King River is a pretty cool map they made. I like that and Frozen Cabins. Actually, I like all the new maps they made.
I think Path of Exile, just like, this league has been a little wonky just because they decided to wanted to change something with like the texture streaming. And overall, like it's been okay for me, but like, I know a lot of people have been complaining about it to the point where I wish it was optional. I think the reasoning they had, it was like for Path of Exile 2, they're gonna try to like change everything. And so that's why they're trying to do it now, incorporate it. So it like, dude, it's been okay for me, but I get it. It should be an optional. Most of these rituals is just don't stand in stupid. Keep moving. Number one rule of Path of Exile, never stand in the spot you were a second ago. Eighteen thirty four. When I'm ready, and not before. Struggle. Who's strongest? Begin the quickening. Shotgun by the boss is gonna hurt. Grasping coils. More fighting. More. That's a new mechanic with the whole Maven thing. She watches your maps and space. Spraying blood floats. I actually like the whole thing because, like, the Maven gives you voice cues. As long as you kind of like have a general idea of once you learn it, what they do, it's pretty good. One third way to Welcome. being able to do a simulacrum thing. Again. Those are actually really fun. I guess we can do a new map. So, well, it's not really new. What's new for this patch? Sure, whatever. Minus resistance. What could go wrong? Actually, you have to just be a little bit more careful because of the uh, negative resistance. Whoa. 
When in doubt, if you have no idea what to play, Glacial Cascade or Cyclone. Those are literally my two go-to builds and I literally don't know what to do. You might learn a thing for your life. You're done. Hate myself. Automate a little more. The syndicate. Death's too kind for a monster. That was. I'm going to kill you, Giannis. Just not yet. When I'm ready and not before. Death Ooh. was such a gift. Every time you kill me, the more tightly fit the cogs, the more... Somehow, trusting this fight... Oh. We got Cyrus. This is what I'm talking about, like, they're making this game harder for new players. Because, uh, for me, and, like, for all the experienced players, this is fine. We know all Cyrus's mechanics, and, like, it'll help. I guess it... I don't know why they added it, but... Maybe it's to help prepare people for the actual fight. By the way, if you haven't watched my Heist League, we went hard last week, and, uh... We did... A8 Cyrus on a non-meta build. It was pretty good, actually. But yeah, for me, it's fine. I know Cyrus's mechanics, but like for someone who just like randomly just started the game and it just pops up, dude, it's not like friendly. So I guess things I could help you if Cyrus appears in your map and you don't know what to do, he'll have like a few uh, quotes that you audio cues. And one is like a rain of stars, and then that means you just like get out of it. Like one, you see that. It'll cause uh geysers in the ground. Rain of stars is more just like a burst AoE thing around you. I'm glad he doesn't do the beams and maps. That one's thank god. I don't think we're hitting 5,000. I'm not complaining about that, but that was easy. I can't really say I feel like going backwards. We're done. What are some other new maps that you guys may have not seen? Bramble Valley? That one's new to this. And 
feeble. Okay, it's fine. This map's all right. Oh my lag harbingers, dude. Harbingers, good DPS check. And like, do you have a good computer check? I can't see anything. time you saw the sun, exile? The true AoE build, by the way. So this is what it feels like playing without a loot filter, even though we have one. Sad part is actually we need a lot of these things. Horizon shards, chaos are pretty good. Alchemy. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really even know what a binding shard is. That's like make a four link. Notice the FPS when you're not fighting Harbingers. It's pretty amazing. When I'm ready, I'm not Contorts weightlessly in the vast emptiness, twisting and dividing, etching scars in the darkness. Light spills through the rift, and a vast army follows, clamoring to be seen and sanctified by the living abyss. I'm like legit convinced the envoy is the maven. Is that a good thing, like an item in the past league? I think I've never used it. did have an engineer orb, right? No. Oh well. 
freezes you when activated. YOLO. Dude, that is so good. Oh my god, winner. I swear, I don't think I've ever gotten one of those before. Alluring bounties. When I'm ready, and not before. More fighting! More! Oh, this is the Dead triple guard. boss. <clears throat> Fight longer! Health! More! Lashing space! Become Bastion! I could see what was happening. The lashing space. More fighting. More. Heavy guard. The lashing space. Become bestian. Dude, that's so annoying. Maven makes bosses more tankier. Life no, don't heal him. Lashing space. Become bestian. When I'm ready, I'm not full. Not taking damage. The lashing space. Heavy guard. Ooh. Not over yet. Min max all you want, still get one shotted by unexplainable things. Rip. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know how I died there. Great blood Too much clutter.
Green one's pretty valuable. I'm good. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And I will split the recording here. If you enjoyed Path of Exile, we can always play more. And I'll see you guys next time.